Welcome back. Hope you're having a good Friday of trade. Well, looks like uh, the bulls are having a great Friday. I mean, uh, the Gift Nifty is suggesting a very strong start, up about 100 points. Our entire team is joining in to help us uh, understand what are the big stocks to watch out for. Of course, all eyes will be on that tariff revision by Reliance Geo. Finally, finally, it's come through, Rima. Something yeah. that the street was expecting for a while. Oh, yes. So let's first, you know, get to the news now. Geo has taken the lead and announced a tariff increase. This is the first tariff increase in two and a half years. The last one was in December of 2021, and it was also a 20% tariff increase. This time, the tariff increase ranges from 12.5% going up to 25%. But on a blended basis, it's approximately about 20%. Some of the popular plans are up for you on your screen. The base level, the entry level, the minimum plan is now hiked to 189 rupees per day. There are two other popular plans which offer you 1.5 GB of data per day. The first one, which is the 239 plan, gives you for 28 days, basically a one-month plan. That has been hiked by 25%. So 239 becomes 299, while the three-month, same, 1.5 GB of data per day for three months is now stands at 799, and that's an increase of close to about 20%. But largely unexpected lines. But remember, Reliance is up 5% this week, and Bharti is up more than 4% this week. Jefferies has raised the target price to 3000 580 on Reliance Industries. Morgan Stanley's overweight on Reliance Industries. For Bharti, because they expect now that peers will follow through with a similar tariff hike. For Bharti, they're now seeing a new floor price of 1,000 to 1,050 following the tariff hike by Reliance Geo. Now, CLSA has put forth an interesting question. Now, we're all saying that Bharti and Vodafone Idea are going to grab this opportunity and immediately hike. But they're saying the key to watch is if Bharti and Vodafone Idea raise tariff over the coming days, which basically means immediately, or will they follow with a lag and perhaps try and gain some of Geo's subscribers? Because now Geo's plans are at a premium to that of its uh, peers. But the standard disclaimer is also up for you in your screen. But Reliance is going to be, uh, Reliance and the telecom stocks will be one of the big stories of the day. But moving on to JSW Infra and Navkar Cop. There is, Pierce, there is an M&A over here. Vivek joins in with the details. Vivek. Well, good morning. You know, this particular m we had flagged off as early as January 18th, and it's a confirmation of our news break. Uh, so what is the development that has happened and that the company JSW Infra has announced overnight? Uh, JSW Infra um, is going to go ahead and acquire 70.37% stake from the promoters of Navkar Corporation. This particular deal has been done at a slight discount to last closing price. So the deal has been done at 95.6 rupees a share. Now, given the fact that they will be acquiring a controlling stake in Navkar Corporation, there is a mandatory open offer that JSW Infra has announced. That 26% open offer uh, is at 105.3 rupees a share. So the deal has an implied enterprise value of close to 1644 crore and the company says that this particular deal is expected to close by the third quarter of FY25. What are the assets that JSW Infra is getting? It's a slight adjacency to the current uh, line of business that the company is. Number one is the company gets one container freight terminal and a Gati Shakti terminal at Panvel. Along with that they get two CFS at Panvel as well and also included is Morbi Inland Container Depot. Uh, uh, what incorrect says is that this particular transaction is done at 0.75 Five times price to book FI24, EV to EBITDA is 27.3 times FI24. Along with that, JSW Infra has also gone ahead and made another announcement. <coughs> uh, they have signed uh, a secured almost 35 years Gati Shakti concession at Arakonam in South India. And on back of that, expect JSW uh, Infra to be in the green. Navkar Corp, slight discount. Uh, so there will be some red on the stock today. All right, uh, Vivek, thank you very much uh, for that important to note. Well, it's a season of uh, blocks and blocks and more blocks. So HCL Tech is our first off the block, but there is... Oh, first off the block for a block. Abhishek is here with yeah. details. Abhishek, morning. Morning, Prashant. So HCL <laughs> Tech, uh, there will be a block over here, but it's uh, less than 0.5%, uh, which is why seller's name has not been disclosed in the uh, you know term sheet that I have access to. So uh, flow price is set at about 1,414.9 uh, uh, per share, which is at a discount of 2.75% to yesterday's closing price. The deal size is about 1,756.5 crore, and quantum is about 0.46% of the equity. It's a cleanup trade, and the sole broker to this deal is Citigroup. Back to you. Thanks a lot for that. So that's on HCL Tech, but Polycab and Sami Hotels are also in focus. Vivek is here to give us more details on that. Vivek, over to you. 
Well, uh, good morning. You know, remember that this is among the last few days of the trading as far as, you know, where promoters can sell given the fact that July 1st honors, you know, there will be, uh, you know, the promoters won't be able to sell given the fact that insider uh, rules will come into effect. So today you're seeing quite a few important deals that could take place. Uh, first, uh, you know, they're talking about Sami Hotels. Over here, you know, there's a seller called GTI Capital Alpha, you know, that held 6.24% stake. They are looking to sell up to 3% equity, which is the base size, and the upsize option is 5%. The floor price for this particular deal is just at a 1% discount, so I expect the stock to recover at 187 rupees a share. Uh, now, the base deal size is 120 crore, upsize option of close to 193 crore. The second stock, you know, I expect this particular stock to react negatively is Polycap. The promoter and promoter entities are looking to sell up to 2% stake in the company. The offer price, you know, the base size indicates that there could be a discount of up to 6.5% to yesterday's closing. The offer size at the lower end of the price band is over 2,000 crore rupees. And remember, there is a lockup of 9 90 days on further sale of shares by the promoter. Expect some, uh, you know, at least at the open for Polycap to open in the red. Thank you very much uh, for that. Over now to Abhishek Star Health held its investor day yesterday. Uh, the key takeaways? Uh, well, Star Health uh, did hold an investor day yesterday and they said that they are confident of increasing the premiums by 2x, that is 2 rupees uh, 30,000 crore, and PAT by 3x, that is to about 2,500 crore under IND AS by over FI 24 to 28. FI 25 combined ratio uh, can improve by one percentage point on a YY basis. Medium term uh, target is about 95%. Now, Star is fully prepared to implement changes uh, that have been mentioned in the recent uh, master circulation by EDI and uh, you know health insurance over there. Where in the impact is uh, broadly manageable by the company. Uh, Star does not uh, consider composite licensing a threat to them. Uh, they see that uh, agency area in life production as an expansion prospect uh, for their product uh, diversification. Back to you. Okay, thanks a lot for that. So uh, that is on Star Hell. But you're also tracking work hard this morning, Avishek. What's the latest there? Uh, well, Sonia, they'll hold a press conference at 12.30 p.m. Uh, today on WCK 5222. So this WCK 5222 is a part of the company's dus, uh, drug uh, discovery program, uh, which is in global phase uh, three clinical uh, studies program is progressing over here in nine countries and is estimated to be completed by end of FI25. Back to you. All right, uh, Abhishek, thank you very much uh, for that. So keep an eye out on Walk Hard as well, along with all the other names that we mentioned. Well, here's a quick recap of some of the stocks that we are watching today. So stocks with positive news flow up on your screen. It's Reliance, Bharti, uh, of course, Vodafone Idea, the ta ta Tariff Hikes, JSW, Infra, Acquisition, HCL Tech, there's a Block, Sami Hotels, Star Health, uh, and there is uh, Walk Hard as well, uh, the last one that Abhishek mentioned. And stocks with negative news flow, Navkar, Cop, and Polycam. Uh, so, lots of blocks, as I was saying, and, uh, you know, that continues. Well, let's uh, welcome in Manisha, who's uh, now joining in with a roundup of what's top of mind as far as commodities are concerned. Uh, Manisha, good morning. Morning, Prashant. Thank you for that. Well, I'll, I'll start with crude oil prices, which was they are trading at a two-month highs. The U.S. crude is trading above 82 right now. There is escalating conflict in Middle East. Uh, now, Israel and Lebanon have uh, concerns piling up, and Turkey has expressed support on Lebanon against Israel. So there are these mini regional concerns as well, which seem to be adding premium to prices. Uh, this is the reason that you also have the gold prices rebounding from a three-month lows. Also, the U.S. unemployment data has come in on higher side, and the markets are anticipating a rate cut coming in from Bank of England and China in the month of July. That also is keeping spirits high. But that's not the case for the metal prices, which are headed for the month of June in negative. Copper is now trading at a two-and-a-half-month lows. The China industrial profit numbers for the month of May came in 0.7% higher versus 4% of gains on a month-on-month -month basis. Also, the strength in U.S. dollars seems to be weighing on in case of metals. I want to quickly talk about sugar as well because overnight we've seen prices gain up between 3 to 4% at 20 cents a pound now. It's a two-month high for sugar. Uh, sugar export curbs continuing from India is one of those reasons. And the second is below normal monsoon, not just in India, but heat waves in Thailand, which is also a big producer of sugar. All of that adding in sense of premium for sugar prices. Okay, thanks a lot, Manisha.